everyone and welcome by EA's Art Channel. My name is Ilkje on Wiersma and today I'd like to talk about the iPad Pro. So not about this uh, painting I just started that will be up in a couple of weeks but i uh, like to talk about the, uh, about the iPad Pro. I just uh, bought, uh, I think a month ago, a month or two ago, I bought the uh, iPad Pro which I'm really happy about because it's such a beautiful uh, uh, thing to draw and to, to paint on. Uh, and to be honest, I never did uh, anything digitally before, but this uh, would, was my first time and uh, I made a uh, concept for a actual painting. So uh, I hope to be uh, uploading that uh, tutorial next week, about, uh, next week about the actual painting. But uh, today I'd like to share with you how I uh, came up with a concept for that painting. And uh, I did it uh, on my uh, iPad Pro because I didn't have a uh, reference material for the painting that I would uh, like uh, to make. And uh, therefore I used a photo of a uh, pixeler and I also uh, draw a dragon. And I never draw a dragon before and uh, therefore I had to uh, come up with a, a plan and uh, with uh, all the proportions and all that kind of stuff. And therefore is the uh, iPad Pro very very handy because it's uh, very um, yeah handy to use. You have uh, basically all the materials that uh, you would have uh, with the uh, real uh, real art supplies, and um, as a uh, uh, yeah you can use a canvas, you can use paper, you can use pencil, uh, paint brushes, and all that kind of stuff. So. Um, it's very new to me, so this will not be my best painting ever, but I just uh, had to come up with a plan, with a concept that I can um, project uh, on my screen so I can paint from it. Basically, I'm making a, a reference photo. So that is uh, what we're going to do today. I'm going to share with you how I uh, came up with a plan and how I basically made my own reference. And first I start uh, sketching my dragon, how I have it uh, basically in, in my head, how I think I sh it uh, should appear on the, the screen, on the, um, eventually of course on the, uh, on the canvas. But I'm starting out uh, just uh, sketching my, uh, my different shapes and therefore I use the, uh, the regular uh, HB pencil. But of course in the, in the setting as the, in the iPad Pro. And that's kind of funny because you have basically everything, every t art tool that I used to work with is uh, in the iPad Pro like uh, like your paint brushes your pencils but also some airbrush tools and it's kind of kind of funny it's uh, really uh, very different uh, for me than uh, the regular regular art but uh, yeah like I said I found it uh, kind of funny and um, it does work uh, different of course but uh, what I really really like is that you can uh, really make quite easy your first sketches on the iPad Pro. You don't need to know a lot of how things work, just where to find your pencil. You can uh, easily adjust the thickness of the pencil. The opacity is uh, very easy to adjust so uh, you can start uh, basically right away. And of course there are a lot of nice tutorials and great tutorials over on YouTube uh, who are go much more in depth about uh, drawing on your iPad Pro or drawing on um, uh, every uh, yeah basically every digital painting you can uh, find uh, useful tutorials and um, that is what I've done uh, before I started this drawing of course but yeah I uh, found it very handy because I don't have references uh, of dragons and uh, I really like uh, uh, to make a painting of a dragon I really want to to make the painting for a long time but I needed a, a nice a reference to work from and like I said in the intro this is not my best artwork of course it's just the first time but I needed just some guidelines to make that painting and I'm uh, working on a painting now and I'm really happy so far it, it really works how I hoped it worked so therefore uh, I'm yeah I'm very happy that I have this iPad Pro and I could uh, I know that I can do a lot more with it than I uh, today but it's uh, like I said just a start the the abilities are, are big and great you can do a lot of things and uh, yeah the, so I'm very excited to use this uh, more more often and, and uh, to include this uh, kind of uh, pre-work for uh, my drawings and paintings and here I'm working with different paint brushes and especially with the airbrush because I like the softness of the airbrush tool uh, on the uh, iPad Pro and I'm working in Procreate. I don't know if you know the program but it's a really nice program uh, to work with uh, if you ask me if you have the iPad Pro. 
And um, well, this is uh, how uh, what I came up for a reference for my uh, next painting. And the background is a photo of uh, Pixabay, and I just uh, adjusted the colors. I made it much more blue than the original photo, but this uh, suits the uh, whole painting much better. And um, also, my husband wanted a lot of blue, so therefore I uh, could change it and. Um, yeah, like uh, as much as I like, and uh, like I said, this is uh, what I uh, what I came up with. So, like I said earlier in uh, in the intro, this is not my best piece of art. I didn't need it as detailed as I normally finish my paintings or my drawings. I just had to, a, uh, to map out things where it should go so I can put it in a painting. And to be honest, I uh, also did change uh, quite a lot on the sky uh, while I was painting. Because, um, yeah, first of all, this painting is for my husband, so he was. Uh, uh, but most of the times he was around and he uh, we discussed uh, things and I uh, came up with ideas and he chose uh, for him the uh, the best ideas. So I uh, made some changes in in the sky. You will see that uh, next uh, next week when I upload the uh, tutorial on the original painting. But um, yeah, it was enough to start this painting. If I didn't have made this uh, reference, this digital reference, I. Uh, I don't think I would ever paint this because it is too hard for me. I just uh, I need a reference and I uh, like to use reference photos, so I had to come up with a plan. And maybe you know, but it is very hard to find uh, materials on dragons and that kind of stuff because it's uh, always uh, you have to do with copyright. And I like to share my work here on my channel, of course. And this painting is not for sale, but uh, I also like to to. Um, yeah, sell, uh, sell my paintings and also uh, my um, prints and postcards from paintings. So therefore I need to come up with uh, uh, references that aren't uh, copyright or, or isn't uh, copyright on. So, um, or I, at least I have to have the permission of the owner of the reference of course. But uh, in this case of the dragons it's really hard to reach the people uh, who made that dragon. So therefore I thought this is a nice start to get used to the um, iPad Pro, so I can use it more often in my uh, uh, yeah making reference for paintings. So it's not that I'm going to uh, make really only digital art. I don't think I'm going to do it. Maybe later on, but in this stage, I just like to uh, have something it's which is quite easy to use. Of course, I need to know where everything uh, is and that kind of stuff. But it's quite easy to use and to get my uh, thoughts out of my head and onto the screen, so I can paint or draw it. So that's uh, basically where I uh, start using the iPad Pro for. And like I said, maybe uh, I will do a, a digital art more often later on. But um, yeah, I hope you like this. And this is a, a very new concept uh, for me. So uh, I'm really excited about it because I really like to uh, learn new things. And I hope I uh, could uh, share already some tips and uh, tricks with you. And I hope I uh, can also uh, could um, bring over some ideas and uh, maybe get you started to making uh, some art of your own. So for now, thank you for watching. And of course, if you like, you can follow me on uh, Facebook and Instagram. I almost forgot, but on uh, Facebook and Instagram, you can follow me if you like this and on my own website. If you like this uh, tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you like, subscribe to my channel. I really like it. So um, I hope to see you uh, next week with the actual painting of this dragon. Bye-bye.